Hey guys, Faisal here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, exposed framework onto your rooted LG G3. Uh, yesterday I showed you how to root uh, your G3, and that method now works for any variant, including all US and international carriers. So, um, and it's, it's really easy to use, so go ahead and get rooted. And once you are, uh, I've got a link to uh, the exposed module repository uh, in the full uh, tutorial that's uh, linked down below in the description. So go ahead and click that on your device uh, and just scroll down and you're going to select the APK file down here. This will install expose uh, to your device. So go ahead and click on that. It'll take just a second to download. Uh, do make sure that you have installation from unknown sources enabled. You can do that in settings uh, security. Uh, once it's installed, just hit the notification, and uh, pretty basic stuff, um, it's going to install like any other app. Once that's done, hit open, and you're going to go to framework, and you're going to see a little warning here that, uh, you know, you could possibly soft break your device, end up in a boot loop. Um, uh, I, I've done this a few times on the G3, and none of that has happened. So uh, go ahead and, you know, just read the warning, hit OK when you're done, and all you're going to do is just hit this install update button. It's going to uh, ask you for super user permission, so grant it those, and then uh, it'll install in just a couple of seconds. It's going to ask you at the end whether you want to reboot now. Go ahead and give your device a reboot. I'm not going to do that because I want to show you some uh, other tricks here with Exposed. So I'm going to hit cancel. Now, um, a few other things with Exposed is you have these different sections. So modules, uh, these are things that you have already downloaded onto your device, uh, but the main action here is in the download section. Uh, this is where all of the various uh, modules, and there are a lot of them, um, are available for you to download. So go through these, it's almost like an app store, you can think of it that way. Um, and th there's a bunch of stuff here, uh, you know, full descriptions. Um, so let's say you, uh, you know, I'll take this one, disable Swift key prediction. Click on that, and you can get more information here. You have support links for, uh, you know, different threads and the, the GitHub page. When you slide to the right, you'll be able to see all the different versions that are available. If you go one more, you can sh uh, adjust the settings for which versions you actually see. So um, I'm going to put it on experimental. So this shows any betas and experimental versions. You slide back and you get to see uh, any of them. They're labeled here uh, with um, th the type of version it is. Um, other than that, you can also hit up settings. Uh, this will allow you to... Um, adjust the theme, uh, and that's really about it. Uh, you can also set global uh, settings for what versions you want to see, and that'll be, um, that, or th that will apply to any module you have. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll have a bunch of stuff with various exposed modules uh, coming up very soon. Uh, and again, remember, anytime you make a change, you either install the framework, update the framework, install a mod, update a mod, you're gonna want to give your device a reboot. Most mods can uh, can work with just a soft reboot, which you can do here. Um, but if you do anything with the framework, go ahead and give your device a full reboot. And once you're up and running, you will be all set. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, make sure to comment below with any questions that you have. Um, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.